As of 2019, around 6.1% of the United States population identifies as Asian American or Pacific Islander. That's over 20 million people, and the number is steadily growing. However, over 25% of all Asian Americans experience mental distress in their daily lives. A major reason for this is the societal expectations of success imposed on the Asian American community. You might have heard a phrase for this, the model minority myth. In this video, we will be breaking down the origins of the myth and examining what it means for Asian Americans today. The mono-minority myth is a commonly used term in the Asian American community in discussions relating to mental health. But what exactly is the myth? We asked Professor Wu of the University of Indiana, who specializes in Asian American studies. I would define the model minority myth as a stereotype, a racial stereotype about Asians in American society. And that is that Asians, um, you know, supposedly are people of color, that, that is, they're not white, um, but for the most part, they are characterized by being <clears throat> hardworking, um, mostly quiet, not, you know, not really rocking the boat, um, almost like disinterested in, in political activity. Uh, and again, you know, focused on studying and, um, and social mobility. Although it is unclear who originally coined the term, its usage became widespread in the mid 1960s. Many news articles began to describe the quote, success stories of Asian Americans in integrating into American society. Thus, the label of the quote, model minority was created. This stereotype has affected many facets of American society, from immigration to civil rights to education. The model minority myth not only negatively affects Asian Americans, but also other minority groups such as Black Americans. By the 1960s, Asians, uh, many people in the United States um, compared Asians, um, you know, favorably, quote unquote, to African Americans. And so a lot of that, the model part, is this idea that they're good minorities, they're good people of color and not bad people of color, right? They're not disruptive or unruly or challenging how things are, demanding big changes. In the education system, many teachers and influential administrators are negatively influenced with the myth. Teachers assume that Asian American students don't need help in academics nor counseling. This leads to many students being afraid to reach out for help, which leads to an increase in mental health issues. In addition, there have been instances where the model minority myth led admission officers to have a certain bias against Asian Americans and evaluate them on skill sets that are seen as stereotypical. Lastly, the model minority myth is a primary cause of mental health issues amongst Asian Americans across the United States. Since the model minority myth portrays Asian Americans as highly successful, they strive to meet this image regardless of how it impacts their mental health. These pressures make it so that one's identity is tied to the career and academic successes. This ultimately leads to issues such as anxiety, depression, and other consequences. In addition, Asian Americans are three times less likely to seek mental health services compared to other groups. Although the model minority myth continues to be an underlying force in our communities, we must educate ourselves of such problems in order to combat the stereotype. Only joining together can we stop these misconceptions about Asian Americans and work towards a better future.